Hi everyone. In this tutorial video, I'll be teaching you guys how to create a simple navigation bar in Adobe Fireworks CS6. So let's begin by opening up a brand new Fireworks document. And let's make the canvas size 1200 by 400 pixels and have the canvas color as transparent. Okay, in order to create our navigation bar, we'll have to create individual buttons that will compose of a navigation bar. Uh, for this tutorial video, to keep it nice and simple, we'll create six buttons, but you can have as many buttons as you want. So let's go ahead and create our first button. We'll do so by clicking on edit, then to insert, then to click on new button. Uh, this will bring up your button editor as shown and if you look to your right hand side you'll see your states panel uh, it'll consist of your up, over, down and over while down state uh, basically this shows what your button will look like once it has been engaged with your mouse slash pointing device so we'll create our first button by clicking on the rectangle tool and selecting a dark grayish color We'll make the size of the button 110 by 25. And we'll just center align that to the grid lines. We'll then click, click on our text tool, like so, and type in home. We'll center align our text within the button as shown. And once that's done, click on the overstate. And if you noticed in your properties panel, you'll have this button called copy up graphic down below. Basically what this button allows you to do is to copy up your previously made graphic from your upstate over to your overstate. So let's go ahead and click on that. As you can see, it's brought up your previously made button for your, from your upstate over to this state. So once that's done, let's go ahead and change the color of this button to a lighter tint of gray, like so. And then click on your down state and do that once more. So click on copy up graphic. As you noticed, it copy up, copied up your previously made graphic from the over state over to your down state. So let's click on that and change it to another shade of gray like so and for this tutorial video we won't worry about the over while down state we'll just worry about the up over and down state uh, once you've done that we'll go over to your document library down below on your right hand side and we'll just change the name of your button to navigation button one like so and then once that's done, click on back and go back to your previous uh, canvas page. If you notice, you'll have these red slicing lines attached to your button. To get rid of those, click on this button right here, which uh, says hide slices and hotspots. Click on that, and that'll make that button go. That'll make those lines go away. Now, if you click on preview. If you hover over the button with your mouse, you'll see that it, it'll change color. And once clicked, it'll also change color. So go back to your original canvas page. And like I said, at the start of this tutorial bit, vid, our navigation bar will consist of six buttons. We've already got the first one, so it's just a case of simply uh, click, hold, and dragging five additional buttons onto the canvas page. like so and then once that's done you're going to want to highlight all of them then you're going to want to align vertical center then you're going to want to space evenly horizontally like so you might want to That didn't work. Just bear with me one second. 
highlight those. You might want to nudge your bars to make them evenly distributed like so. Now once you've had your uh, navigation bar made, it's now a case of just simply replacing the text of the other buttons to uh, whatever text you want. So for this button we'll have services. This button will have clients. This button will have history. For this button we'll have database. And for our last button we'll have contact us. Once that's done you're going to want to group them. So highlight all of them, then click on modify, then click on group. Or you can use your hotkeys and uh, press control plus G. Once you've done that, you can click on preview, like so. And once you hover over your, uh, your buttons, you'll see that they'll change color. And once you click on it, it'll also change color. So basically, this tutorial video shows you how to create a simple navigation bar in Adobe, Work, Adobe Fireworks CS6. It simply shows you the uh, mechanics of how to create a navigation bar. There are more advanced ways to create a navigation bar. You can use gradients and so forth. But uh, to keep this tutorial vid simple, I've just used one, three shades of grey, like so. So click back on original, then click on modify, canvas, then trim canvas. This will get rid of the transparent background, like so. And there you have it. There is your navigation bar that's ready to be uh, exported into Dreamweaver. So please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.